Louisa James and I'm here at London Zoo, a charity first founded in 1826 and now home to more than 650 different species. I was just about to go in here with Jack the armadillo, here with uh, the black and white lima. Now just two years later in 1828, London Zoo opened its doors to be the world's first ever scientific zoo. And with the need for conservation and breeding becoming ever more vital, the job here at London Zoo is very, very important. Good evening and welcome to your update at 8. My name is Louisa James and you're watching us here on Thursday the 15th of April 2010. April 29th is the next biggest royal wedding the world has ever seen. He's on his own because they're apparently they're quite a solitary animal. They tend to kind of, uh, once they've left their parents, go off by themselves and forage around for food. We're going to be feeding him a little bit of fruit and uh, seeing what else he's going to be getting involved in in there. Now he is, he is uh, just in the back corner. They're hiding away. How it's is he about to touching under there? He's, he's okay. He doesn't mind. So what's the purpose for the for the shell? How old? About how old are they when they disappear from their parents and they go? The and they kind of move on. Yeah. Now I'm in Basingstoke and I'm getting ready to speak to a man called Bill Weathers. Now Bill Weathers has just made it on to the top 50 richest men in the UK as voted for by the Daily Telegraph. Now our top story tonight is the snow here in the UK. Now the UK was blanketed this morning in heavy snow as extreme weather conditions headed south. The Met Office has issued warnings of half a metre of snow to fall in some areas, bringing chaos to the North and Scotland today. Forecasters warn the country to get ready for the coldest winter for 30 years. The heaviest snowfall tonight is expected in Dorset, Wiltshire, Hampshire and Oxfordshire. This could lead to transport disruptions and problems to power supplies. The Highways Agency has kept the majority of major roads up and running, whilst local authorities say that they are prepared. Kate and William will be getting married April 29th. Now what are she going to be wearing? Who's going to be watching on TV? I want to know. So, go and find out. I'm putting your shoulder for a second. Okay. See if she wants to sit there and um, have a little scratch like that. There you go. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you, when you no. came to the zoo today? There we go. Hello. Rather sweet. Look at that. There we go. Oh, very, very soft. Yeah, incredibly so, Isn't yeah. Isn't she? And and very uh, easy, easy to touch. I didn't think she'd be quite so friendly. Well, she was. Do you love the big city? Love spending money? Or why not see the palace? Watch your band? Maybe a bit of shopping or something to eat. The choice is yours. So, how does that sound? A trip to London, a thousand pounds to spend on whatever you like, and we'll even throw in two theatre tickets to see Wicked at the Apollo Victoria. And all you need to do is answer just one simple question. Now, we're here at the palace for the royal wedding in just a couple of months time. Now, you're not, are you gonna be here for the royal wedding? Are you gonna be watching it on television? I really, she will be. You will be. Are you a bit of a fan of the royals? Oh, yeah. Now, this particular species is currently only found in India. There's only one pride left in India. Apart from these ones that are now breeding and safely uh, enclosed here in London Zoo. The majority of the animals here at the zoo are little um, terrors like this one. Because you've seen, I've seen the, the gorillas, obviously, uh -huh. who have just had a baby. They've just had a baby, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not only is he doing it from the 15th floor, there's no lift. So I've managed to get myself an interview with Bill Weathers. Just well, that's the end of my day here at London Zoo. I've had a great time with all of the keepers and the animals that we've been in and seen. But now I think it's about time I go off and have a nice hot cup of tea.